of all the objections sales reps get, the price is too high, is still number one on the list. And it makes sense, doesn't it? I mean think about your own purchases, whether you're in the market for a new car, a new house, or even a dinner out with the family, what's the one common component of your own buying decisions, budget right? So it makes sense that all of your prospects have a budget consideration as well. But be careful because the price objection doesn't always mean that your prospect can afford it. In fact, the price objection is often the biggest smoke screen objection of all, meaning that prospects throw it out to hide what the real objection is. And the reason they use it is because it works. Again, everyone understands budget concerns because we all have them. Top producers know how to go beyond this smoke screen objection and uncover what the real objection is. And once you understand what the price objection really means, you will gain a unique insight into how to deal with and overcome it. Here are five hidden meanings your prospect doesn't want to reveal when they tell you that your price is too high and what you should do about them. When they don't see the value in what you are selling, Often when a prospect tells you that the price is too high, what they're really saying is that based on what you are telling them they're getting, they don't feel the spend is justified. This often means that you either uh, didn't completely understand their buying motives and so didn't show how your solution addresses them, or b. You didn't build enough value in the results they are going to get as a result of making the purchase solution. After you've clarified that this indeed the case, then it is up to you to go back and build that value by pitching specific points and tying them down to make sure your prospect sees and buys into the value. 2. They believe they can get it cheaper somewhere else, with the internet making your solution available to nearly anyone or a solution your prospect thinks is the same, it's difficult to compete on price. Solution the solution here is in first discovering that your prospect has another option in mind and then doing the straightforward comparison of services for services. This used to be called an apples to apples close and it's still highly effective if it's presented correctly. The key, however, is to be able to determine whether that's the issue and then use a properly worded script to do the comparison. 3. They actually can get it cheaper somewhere else. This can seem difficult to at first handle, because after all if they can get it cheaper somewhere else, why wouldn't they do it? Solution. To answer this question, just ask yourself what motivates you to pay a premium for a product or service you know you could get less expensively elsewhere. Reasons can include. Uh, getting it from a more well-known source often means that handling any problems, questions or returns is easier. B. Buying something from a person or company you respect or like is often another reason to go with a higher priced item. C. Convenience. Sometimes it's easier or less time consuming to buy a product or service from a source you know and trust even if you have to pay a bit more. D. Quality of product. Oftentimes a knockoff or generic product is available, but those sometimes don't come with all the support, instructions, warranty, etc. that you can get by paying a bit more from the manufacturer. E. You the only place your customer can get you, your knowledge, your customer support, your belief and your desire to stand behind your product and make any problems right is by buying it from your company and doing business with you. This is a powerful buying reason, and one sales reps routinely underestimate. Far price is just a smoke screen, hiding other objections. Oftentimes prospects are not ready or willing to move forward with a purchase, for a host of different reasons. If they are a business, then initiatives can change, or personnel changes, timing, scheduling, etc. also affect purchases, or far both individuals and companies, there can be multiple decision makers with different objectives. Our prospects decide to keep looking or delay or postpone the decision for many other reasons as well. When prospects don't want to reveal what is really stopping them from making a decision, they will often just throw out the price objection because it works. Revealing anything else would require an explanation, but saying it costs too much or that they simply can't afford it usually gets sales. People off their back. Solution. 
the key here is to find a way to get your prospects to reveal what is really behind their decision not to buy and then effectively deal with that. 5. They actually can't afford it. Sometimes the price objection is just as it sounds. Your prospect can't afford or chooses not to afford your product or service. If this turns out to be the case, then it's something you should have addressed during qualifying. Solution Top producers always qualify for budget, among five other things, and they know in advance if a prospect can afford their solution. If you have qualified correctly in the beginning, and you still get the price objection, then you can be sure it's a smoke screen hiding items one through far above. As you can see, the price objection isn't always about the price, but rather, it often means something else. Your job as a closer is to be prepared with a scripted approach to find out exactly what the real reason is, and so position yourself to overcome it. Copyright C, 2015 Mr. Inside Sales